Tesla has some of the best engineers in the world. Well, SpaceX has a bunch of them too, and they're in very high demand, but engineers are in high demand all over the world. How do you get a big team of fantastic engineers real quick and ready to go? Well, sometimes you do it by buying out another company. Tesla has done just that with the purchase of Mans AG in Germany. I've got my buddy Herbert here to help me understand uh, the ins and outs of mergers and acquisitions. No, that's not quite what we're discussing. And you'll get the idea momentarily. I'm Brian. Welcome to Future Oz. Oh, 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 oh. So for those who don't know, Herbert, of course, has a fantastic channel called Brighter. Brighter with Herbert. We are live every Wednesday at noon Pacific, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Pacific. And at noon Pacific, I have a little after show where I go over all the questions and comments that didn't fit. Herbert, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, I appreciate this. I love it. Discussing any time that we can uh, kind of break apart. How does Tesla have its major advantage, which is automation and efficiency and building? And here they bought a pretty important new company that can help them do that more in Germany. We've seen them do it in the past. They bought Maxwell Technology. They bought Groman Automation. And people even then said, well, Groman Automation, what for? What's the purpose? What, what can they possibly get from this? And there are many answers to those questions. Uh, but let's look at this real quick. Tesla buys assets from insolvent German engineering group. The man's deal comes as January sales. Oh, that's about Tesla. So what had happened was this engineering firm that makes automation equipment, that makes uh, automotive components, that makes touchscreen components, all kinds of things, uh, had financial trouble. They went broke. Hundreds of employees uh, going to be out of work. And Tesla showed up and bought the bought the division, I think one or two divisions of the company. So those 300 employees uh, will be uh, rescued with another hundred getting a, uh, a transitional kind of program to help them with job placement. Um, why would they do this? What do we know? Yeah. Well, like, I guess they're insolvent, right? So you want to buy the technology, but, um, Tesla automation is a very important division that again, few people know that Tesla even has their goal is to improve process efficiencies, right? There's like, first of all, they have automation equipment. And that's part of what they're getting out of here, some proprietary equipment that helps automate the manufacturing process. They have battery production systems. That's one of the biggest, most important thing. Anything they can do to implement that, MANS has that. They have process optimization. This is, you know, focus on how to just continue to automate as much as you can, where you can. And then they support globally the other gigafactories. So I think this came up. They're there. They're local. They... It's going to be very unaffordable, but there's both equipment and processes. I don't think the people were that important, right? Because you saw 300 people, but then they're letting go of 100. So you're just keeping the 200. Uh, I think what matters more was more of the equipment that they can use, both battery and automation of the factory process. And the IP that comes with it, because... Yeah. You know, they they uh, presumably hold a number of patents. Well, how important is uh, engineering mergers? Well, if you look it up on Google News, you will see an endless list of engineering companies uh, involved in mergers. Sometimes they're bought out. Uh, sometimes they're rescued in uh, bankruptcy. Um, but it is it is an important thing. Uh, it is a good way to get people to get IP to get uh, a, a lot of times. Uh, companies will see a, a product out there and think, man, I wish we'd have done that. And while they can't go back and invent it afresh when someone already has, they may be able to buy out that company, get yeah. the expertise. Yeah. Yeah. This could be a really good deal. I mean, this company at one point had 1,200 employees. I think they were, they had a revenue of 250 million euros in 2023. They went under though, right? So the there's a, a slowdown in, in Germany, right? Europe in general, electric vehicles, battery slowdown, competition. So uh, they went down now. I think it's a really good deal for Tesla. This is the time for them. The question though is, you know, doubling down in Europe. So if, if there was a lot more employees, I'd be very concerned. If this was technology that they can use, not only in Europe, but also across the globe, which is what it sounds like it can be, then I think that this makes a lot of sense. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like doubling down in Europe when things are seem to be 
um, slowing down there. I, I agree with your second point. I think this is technology they can use everywhere, systems they can use everywhere. And just the experience that uh, MANS has with battery manufacturing technology can be of tremendous help. We know that while Tesla has some very good systems for battery manufacturing, they are not yet a leader in that. They are among the leaders. They are not the leader. Every bit helps. Um, looking at what the company does, um, automation, laser processing, metrology, which is just measure measuring wet chemistry, which is benchmarking mm -hmm. from the chemistry side, roll to roll processing is making like, um, Anything that goes on large film that is then sliced up to be used for other things like uh, ribbons of, of, of equipment, so to speak. Um, yeah. So mobile and battery solutions and industry solutions, both of those sound good. Both of those yeah. sound like something I want the company I'm invested in to yeah, have that's a part. Germany's yeah, Germans, Germany's known for this, right? German high tech, uh, engineering expertise. Just it's a good it's a good thing to, to be focused on that. When I was living in Shanghai, um, they were not using all of the big industry was not using much domestically made equipment yet. Everything they wanted was either made in the USA or Germany. They said those are the two countries that have the engineering that makes all our factories actually work. Now I believe that that has shifted. Chinese engineering has come online in a big, big way over the last 10, 15 years. But German engineering for such a small country relative to the population of other countries, they have a wealth of engineering talent. Looking at another article on it, Tesla's automation. So it wasn't Tesla that bought them, but their subsidiary, right. Tesla Automation. Tesla Automation, yeah. Yeah, so Which this goes- itself was formed by acquisitions of other German um, engineering firms, so- Yes. That's why it shows you that's actually working out. Let's go ahead yes. and acquire these guys. And, and that's yeah. like the Groman deal. Groman mm -hmm. was making a, equipment for automotive and battery manufacturing, and Tesla needed it, and the line was too long, so they bought the whole company. Um, the local court of Stuttgart approved the insolvency proceedings about the assets on Monday. As per the agreement, Tesla will be taking over more than 300 employees and movable assets. Uh, the automation will also be using the property in Rutlingen, as noted in the press release. The completion of the purchase is still subject to the approval of the German Federal Cartel Office under merger control law, but a lower court s believes it'll it'll move through. And after the purchase, 100 will not be moving. So you're right, it is 300 with 100 leaving. Uh, following the deal, they will be offered the opportunity to, to, to join a transfer company to cushion the social disadvantages of losing their jobs. It's an automation supplier that invested heavily in battery technology. Batteries are tricky. They're expensive. They're difficult. Um, we're gaining quality, qualified employees with a high level of expertise in high-tech mechanical engineering, and the site is an ideal complement to the continued successful implementation of our global automation projects in the Tesla Group. Yeah, I think you have to just, you know, here's a company, right? Startup with good technology and they're selling it. They're trying to sell it to as many automakers as they can. They go under Tesla, large, big, scaled, global. They can take that tech and immediately uh, apply it. So they wouldn't have done this if they didn't realize this is such a, a, it's a steal, right? Like an incredible deal. You get the technology and you apply it everywhere. And that we're talking about the biggest scale possible. So it's a perfect purchase. So glad that we did it for anyone else. And I'm glad that we're doing it because it's automation. It actually, it will cut expenses and speed up processes. That's what you need. It's going to be, it's like a great thing to focus on. It's, it's the path forward. Uh, innovation and expertise. This is their official website. Join our journey engineering tomorrow's production. Uh, it says to accept cookies to see the video. That does mm -hmm. not work with my weight loss plan, so I'm going to reject mm -hmm. those cookies. Uh, what makes us unique? Innovation, modular <laughs> solutions. What? what? Why do you have and, the photo of a football player? Okay. Because, because he's innovative and modular, I think is mm -hmm. the reason. Maybe that's why they didn't uh, succeed, is they've got a, <laughs> a football player. Maybe, maybe 21 is some number that's relevant to some, I don't know. That's a great question. So automotive, e-mobility, electronics, battery production. This is, yeah, this is a lot of things that you want. 
Uh, so fantastic stuff all around. It's very hard to recruit 300, well, uh, 200 mm -hmm. people. The best 200 out of 300. The and these are already well, some were, of the best people. They were the best out of 1,200. <laughs> so they yes. survived. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So these are, these are very high quality uh, professionals in a very uh, narrow and competitive field. And all of these are things that Tesla can benefit from. I know you and I've talked on shows about how much Tesla likes to bring production in house, but they are still very reliant on outside suppliers for a lot of things. This may afford the opportunity to improve that even further. We know that for the new rear diffuser light on the on the new mm. Model Y, that they had to purchase equipment to give to their suppliers so they could make it because no one mm. made a light bar that was wide enough uh, for the Model Y. No one had the equipment to do it. So they had to get new equipment. So that's the sort of thing I think we could see perhaps coming in-house in the future. Um, any more thoughts on this man's merger? Ah, I think it's great. Yeah. You know, it, like, like the they song says- buying more companies, honestly. Uh, you know, the, the, the reliant that everything we can build ourselves is kind of the core thesis of Tesla. It's been very, very successful, but um, there are companies like this. There are technologies out there. They should be buying more. It's okay if it's small companies, it's the big ones that you want to be very careful about, but small companies like this, they're there, find them. Especially, and that's the one thing I would also say is that we see a lot of people saying, oh, um, they should buy Canoe, they should buy Aptera, mm -hmm. they should buy Arkimoto. They don't need canoes engineers. Certainly I don't see the value in a lot of those. Uh, those are products that if Tesla was interested in, they could make, they could just make them, they could just make them mm -hmm. themselves. Um, but when you're talking about hundreds of world-class engineers, it's quite a different matter. And, uh, you know, like the name of the company and James Brown say, it's a man's world. It's a man's um, world. Mm-hmm. So guys, what did we miss? What do we misunderstand? Uh, thank you for hanging out with me, Herbert. I appreciate it. And when you're not here, do you know what I do all day? I go over and watch videos on Brighter, where I see folks like Jeff Lutz and Cern Basher and too many more to name because it's a great channel and it makes me, yes, like it says on the description, Brighter. And I appreciate that. Everybody else, you know, like, subscribe, do what you do. Leave a comment in the comments if you don't mind. And stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots when the merger is complete.